Hey, Chan Clan Kiwi Crate viewers, we have the Kiwi Crate Kaleidoscope puzzles that Lucas has built all by himself. Right, Luke? Not really all by myself. Not all by yourself? You worked on this with Dougie. Dougie? Dougie helped you? What'd you build? A kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. What's a kaleidoscope? That's a big word. What does that mean? I don't know. It's this kind of viewer thing that allows you to take a look at all these different patterns. There's, there's like a mirror inside. There's a mirror and it replicates all the cool patterns. What What's all this stuff? For you to decorate it with or something? Uh, I don't really know. Oh, there's different pinwheels and stuff that you can try, right? I know. So you can see different patterns in the kaleidoscope? Yeah. So they have all these different shapes and even little discs that you can make your own and markers that you can make your own patterns. Because this is the kaleidoscope puzzles. And look, you can make, oh, you can has a, have a mirror and that you can kind of use the mirror to reflect things and you can see the standing kaleidoscope too. You made the mirror. Did you do the mirror too? The standing one? Yeah. You did? Where? This one? No. Um, Where's the mirror one? Downstairs. Downstairs? You want to run and grab it? Oh. That way you can show me how the mirror works. All right, so there's a standing mirror kaleidoscope as a second part to this project. But this is his cool kaleidoscope and you can actually see, let's see if we can zoom in to the actual, there you go, look at that. Lucas will be so excited. You can actually see some of the patterns here. We're gonna have to kind of hold this right up to the camera, wow. And as long as we don't have the camera blocking, there we go, we can actually turn that pinwheel and see some of the cool things that you can see by staring into here. Look at this, Luke. We can see some of the kaleidoscope patterns right on the camera. Is that cool or what? That's cool. That's pretty cool? Yeah. And if you turn it, you're, you'll be able to see all those shapes and colors. Lucas is turning it now. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a uh, stained glass window, huh? All right. So Lucas, in the meantime, as we move away, whew, there we go, from the kaleidoscope, cool, has brought the mirrored kaleidoscope. So this is a mirrored, a mirrored uh, thingy here. And what we can do, why doesn't it sit flat? Why is it popping up a little bit? There we go. Is that you can put, look, you can put this pattern underneath it, right? You're going to put it down in there, and now you can actually see that it reflects the pattern, and it has different things that you can do to <laughs> reflect it, and it looks all funny like that, right? Like, what happens if you put in? You can explore different patterns there. Let me go like this. And it looks like beyond building the kaleidoscope, you can decorate your own pinwheel. We did. You did? Oh, that's the one that you made on your own? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you actually decorated that, huh? Yeah, we did. That's cool. Oh, look, I mean, it's funny how you put that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these you shouldn't have to, uh, it should, it should sit on there. Ah, you got you have it upside down. That's why it doesn't have to pop out. You see how it, it's flat? <laughs> so this one is tabbed, and then this one should be flat, like that. So this one is actually on the top. These tabs are on the top to hold down the mirror. That one goes on the top, like this. So I think you guys built it upside down. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Whoa, mirror magic! All right. So now, oh, can you slide that back on yeah. to hold on to the mirror? Mm. Good thing is they build this kid friendly enough so that things don't fall apart. Or if they do fall apart, you see how this one has a little bit of a foot in there? 
that foot just sits right into that slot there and that way it's flat and doesn't like pop out too much and then you can put that right in there. That's why there's a little crack so you can put that right. in. Right, and look, you can make funny shapes and <laughs> patterns with that. It just comes out this way. That's kind of silly, huh? And so this a is a standing kaleidoscope. Oh, look, that looks pretty cool. What is that? All right. So in this crate, you have the standing kaleidoscope. You had the kaleidoscope puzzle and games and the spinning kaleidoscope. And we, we saw the spinning kaleidoscope, the standing kaleidoscope, and some kaleidoscope puzzles and games. Did you try any of the games? No. Here's the puzzles and games. Oh, you can make patterns using the little foam, like the tangrams. You like the tangrams, right? So why don't you open that up and see if you can make that pattern. Can you make that pattern using that mirror? And I get it. They have puzzle cards here that you can actually use like tangrams. So tangrams, um, you get, you get a, a picture like this. And they say, Lucas, make that picture on your marks. Get set, go. Uh, that picture? Yep. How are you going to make that picture show oh. up on this thing? Great. Oh, great. How do you do that? Are you going? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Wait, no, on the corner. How are you going to figure that out, Luke? Nope. I'll give you a hint. These black lines are like the mirror, right? So just pretend you're looking at this right here. That's you, okay? So you should be able to figure that out if you just look at one wedge of the pizza here. Yeah, no, right. what, what goes at the corner? It's not the red, the orange goes in the corner. Wait, what? Yeah, that's the corner here. That's over here. So try putting the triangle right into that corner and it'll probably make a square. So if you take that triangle and put well, just one, Right in the front here. Yeah? Either on great. You you may as well can't even put it in. Put it in from the front. Wait, what there. Almost. Nope. Turn it around. Okay, so look at the picture. Okay, look. Here. This orange part goes right there that try that look you made a square get it and so now how are you gonna do those these. nope what nope is that how the picture looks like all right i'm gonna help you with this one and then i'll show you and then let's see if you can do another one okay remember we're looking at just this pie right here right so if you look at that pie that make a square and if we touch over here okay there we go we touch over there we take this and touch over here there we go you see how we got the pattern oh so where's a different pattern? you gonna try a different this pattern one. that's that that's another one all right okay clear this off okay okay on your marks get set go Okay. Okay, guess what? This one's not 45 degrees anymore. I'm sorry, 90 degrees anymore. We have to change this to 45 degrees. You see that hint? It says 45 degrees. It's going to make the angle more narrow, and it's going to make more of them appear. Can you put that in the 45? Okay. Okay. So you're gonna put the back. Yeah. And then you I need some blues, right? Put this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you're probably gonna have to slide the blue ones in first before you put the yellow one there, right? 
can slide the yellow one forward yeah, and push this whole thing up a little bit like this. And then bring the yellow one back a little bit so that you have a little space. Did you get it? I think you got it. All right. Let's take a look. Does that look like the pattern? Yep. Yes. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what is this? That yeah. one looks tricky. You want to try all those? All right, so you get the picture. This is the standing kaleidoscope, and we had the spinning kaleidoscope in this month's kaleidoscope puzzles kiwi crate. So not only is it something to build, this is also something to play with as a puzzle, which is pretty cool. So the Kiwi Co. Kiwi Crate Kaleidoscope Puzzles comes not only with the standing kaleidoscope, the spinning kaleidoscope, but also with these awesome tangram-like board games looking at reflections. And Lucas is going after the flower. And I think he has mastered this and has figured out what this is doing. Although, you know what? That's not right. Because how are you going to put the green part in there? I think you have to turn it, huh? There you go. Just look at, look, look at the picture and see if it's a pointy or a flat side that it's pointing at you, the yellow one. So it looks like it's going to be a right pointy side that points to you. There you go. There you go. How are you going to get those purple pieces? There, let's go rescue these purple pieces for you without knocking everything over. There you go. All right, looks like you got your purple sunflower and now you need the stem. Two for the stem. Boom, Lucas did it. There you go. Four of those flowers <laughs> tessellated or basically repeating themselves in the standing kaleidoscope. Pretty cool, huh, Lucas? All right, so that's it. We have the awesome Kaleidoscope Puzzles Kiwi Crate here with... Hey, how do you do this? Oh, I'll let you do that in a second. With all these cool cards as puzzle pieces, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the awesome hints here and the, oh, you have all these puzzles over here. You have the instruction manual. Oof. And then also all these Wait, little things here. Yeah, there's more on the back. But this isn't... What? Explain. So... Oh, this just shows you what to do. It does. Oh, that, that was the solution. That's the answer, right? So here you have it. The what? Kiwi Crate Kaleidoscope Puzzles. Spinning Kaleidoscope. Standing Kaleidoscope. With uh, pattern games and puzzles for you to solve. Thanks for watching. Check out all our Kiwi Co. Crate videos as we get these month by month um, to build amongst our kids. Uh, if you are subscribing, uh, you can check out our link. Save 10 bucks or 50% off on your first subscription. And we will see you next time on the Chan Clan's Kiwi Co. Crates. Thanks for watching.